All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today, we're going to get into a variety of topics. But this first topic, we're going to talk about if you do not have hardware 4.0 based upon the VIN, based upon your Tesla advisor telling you that you do not have it, maybe from photo evidence or VIN evidence, because there's a lot of threads out there, which I'll quickly go through and show you where you can try and figure out yourself and piece together whether you have hardware 4.0 or not. But if you don't have hardware 4.0, what are your options? What can you actually do at this moment to try and figure out to try and basically kill your deal or put off your deal until you can actually get hardware 4.0? So we'll talk about that. But before we get into any of that, let's roll that intro real quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best thing on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description if you want to support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates and credit reunion rates to finance your Tesla at a lower rate, lower than Tesla financing. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And shout out to our shout out to our latest Patreon members. Thank you to Karthik, Gordon, Lloyd, and Kastner. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you want to check it out, Patreon link down below in the description. But let us take a look at this. So this pretty much started just a few days ago when the kilowatts and of course Black Model 3 or Zach both went to Tesla lots and spotted on Model Ys only. It does not seem to be that this is happening on Model 3s, but Model Ys are coming with the newest hardware 4.0 cameras, which of course is a 5 megapixel camera. And how you can try and figure it out is based, based upon this. You can see it is a bigger bezel for the camera camera on the Tesla on the Tesla Model Y versus the older version which is like a smaller bezel around the surround like and also some people are reporting a red dot depending on like the flash or anything like that and of course there's plenty of threads out there on Twitter or uh, on Tesla Motors Club which I definitely recommend as well like here's an updated one from today where people are posting as of today their VIN their consecutive VIN sequence and if their vehicle their Tesla Model Y comes with hardware 4.0 or not so definitely recommend go to Tesla Motors Club go to the ordering and production and delivery section and check out some of these waiting rooms because there's a lot of people in these waiting rooms or threads just like you or me potentially could be waiting for Tesla vehicles and even on Reddit too it's same exact thing is going on people are posting who has actually received hardware for and there's back and forth on depending on what vins are actually posted but it seems like it seems like depending on where you are actually taking delivery from the austin tesla model y factory or the fremont tesla model y factory there are certainly different consecutive vins that you have to look out for and at the end of the day you want a vin that is higher or after the production of ones that people have already confirmed have hardware 4.0 and of course this means a lot especially if you are a believer in full self-driving or essentially if you paid the full fifteen thousand dollars for full self-driving then it can certainly make a lot of sense to try and go for this but the question is now like now that you've figured out what that if whether you have hardware 4.0 or even hardware 3.0 what are options if you do not have hardware 4.0 and so shout out to marks yesterday for jumping in and giving us his exact experience but the first one is of course option one you can put your order on hold after you've confirmed that the VIN and your Tesla sales advisor or even dropping by the Tesla showroom to take a look at your vehicle after you confirm that you do not have hardware 4.0 you can request now your, your miles may vary on this and so I don't know if I recommend actually doing this but it is possible to actually do this you can request to put your order on hold what happens then is your order stays intact but definitely be aware of that as well. I've definitely heard of people in the past trying to do this strategy and Tesla for whatever reason, maybe it's miscommunication or something like that, they accidentally cancel their order at the end of the day. So 
just be careful of that. Make sure you've got everything in writing. Make sure that you are double, triple confirmed with people at the Tesla stores. And what you potentially want is you want to basically put your order on hold. They release the VIN to someone else, to someone else that probably can take delivery ASAP. And your order will go on a holding pattern status and you'll wait for a new production VIN, a new Tesla Model Y to roll off the production line to then be assigned to you. So this could potentially be anywhere from two to four, maybe even six weeks from the day you actually do it. So just be aware of that. The, the other thing I want you to be aware about, if you've already got your auto financing loan squared away, most auto loans only last in terms of approval for 30 days. So just be aware of that if you're going to be pushing, you might have to reapply to your bank or your credit union or everything like that. Or even if you're using Tenant, down below in the description where you can support the channel. Uh, sponsor, shout out to Tenant for sponsoring. Tenant is a different way to use uh, to finance your vehicle because they allow you to defer a portion portion of your loan all the way to the end, maybe even that 7,500 federal tax credit, like a for the Tesla Model Y. So they do this, which then allows you to get a lower monthly payment. So definitely check out Tenant down below in the description. And thank you to Tenant for sponsoring this video. But just be aware, if you are using financing partners like Tenant or even other credit unions, if you want to get that full list down below in the description of the Patreon link, that you might have to reapply for another loan at the end of the day. The other second option, of course, is canceling your order. If you've got a Model Y order that's in the books or is locked in that is at the current pricing, the really the only thing you're going to lose is that $250 deposit. There is a way to get it back, but I don't necessarily promote it out on video. But uh, there is a way to get it back. But you can then cancel your order. You'll lose $250. But of course, if you use someone's Tesla referral link, maybe even our Tesla referral link down below in the description if you want to support the channel, you will then get 1,500 credits, which then equals 500 supercharger miles, which has a valuation in itself as well. So if steps one does not work or step one does not work for you and they are for whatever be reason being a pain and they are not letting you cancel it, of course, the third option is or the second option, you could cancel your order and the third option is maybe you could say you're out of town try and stall them or anything like that to try and try and push off delivery because if you stall them enough basically what's going to happen in the next month or so or even happening right now tesla works in monthly fashions or end of quarter fashions so they're probably trying to rush to get people to take delivery by the end of this month and most likely what we'll see is the same thing will happen in June because June is the next month of the last or the last month of this current quarter. So taking a look at inventory charts for the Model Y, we're not seeing any sort of crazy increases. So that's really the thing. Like I really don't feel like a lot of people out there are really interested in the hardware 4.0 and in, in terms of like Tesla's like main demographic. It's just you and me on here that are interested in the hardware 4.0. And so here are some of the strategies that we could potentially do to try and take delivery or try. And if, you're, if your VIN does not have hardware 4.0 on the queue, then here are some things that you can try and do to try and push it out. But let me know what your thoughts. Let me know what you're thinking. If you've tried one of these strategies very, very recently, then also put that in the comments or in the live stream chat. And also shout out to Marks for giving us this idea. I've definitely known of some of these strategies in the past, but he brought it up yesterday with his own personal experience. He did step number one, and he is waiting for another VIN to try and take delivery with a Tesla Model Y with hardware 4.0. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. We're going to jump into the next topic. But before we do that this video is actually sponsored by my patreon link down below in the description is a patreon link we can support the channel and there's a variety of benefits but some of them include actually scheduling a call with me we can ask me any questions about buying a tesla selling a tesla or even financing a tesla and after you join the patreon you get a link to my buying guide which has links to all the resources i use to get the best possible deal at the best financing rate including credit unions and banks on that list that all have interest rates lower than tesla financing lower than tesla's 5.59 percent so definitely check out patreon link down below in the description and as an added benefit i do respond to all patreon dms or direct messages in the patreon app so definitely check it out if you are interested all right welcome back everyone happy tuesday we're coming off of a memorial day weekend we're gonna spit spit through spit balls through some of these 
topics. We only got a couple of topics today. And then because we only have a couple of topics today, tomorrow we will be releasing our Model X delivery video that we filmed a while ago and finally got edited. Uh, I guess it's really on me, my fault, not necessarily anybody else. But uh, we're going to be releasing that uh, and then... We're going to finally start that whole process of releasing all those segments with the Model X and the whole ownership experience we've had so far with it. So hopefully you guys enjoy some of those videos and we're going to be releasing them starting tomorrow. And maybe we'll do it every Wednesday, I guess. You might as well, right? And then that will get me motivated to keep trying to post more and more and more of those vehicles or videos. In this next topic, Tesla has released a new product within their Tesla store, and it looks to be a very interesting looking t-shirt. So we'll take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking as like talk, but basically just getting the best behind Tesla at the best fine series. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And so let us take a look at this. Shout out to Hi guy 604 on Reddit posted in the Tesla Motor Store. It seems like right now there is a new men's cyber bear t-shirt in all different sizes and it is $50 you can see this is a homage to basically the California state grizzly bear plus the new engineering HQ within the state of California but definitely some cool stuff I mean I always, always love seeing Tesla swag especially the Tesla swag that you can get in the Tesla loot box store if you are buying a Tesla you know definitely check out our referral code down below in the description so you, you can buy it with a referral code but it's very cool to see that Tesla is start, keeps releasing more products and new items in the store so definitely check it out if you're interested all right but if you're just joining in welcome we talked about if you don't have hardware 4.0 here are some of the things that you can do you can put your order on hold ask tesla to release your vin and your order will still stay in the queue and then you can wait for a new vin to come in and of course the second option is cancel your order and then a third option would be to i guess flat out flat out just try and say that you're out of town to try and stall them as much as possible but most likely you'll they'll be able, be able to let you do put your order on hold at the end of the day stay for thanks for being a patreon member what happens if you determine it is hardware three and you can you refuse delivery i would say don't even set up and don't even go to the delivery appointment try step number one talk to your tesla advisor and see if you can a confirm the vin and whether it has hardware 4.0 or not or maybe get a picture of the cameras or maybe they can look it up themselves and then b if it doesn't ask them to put your order on hold so that they can release the vin to someone else your order still stays intact and then they will give you another vin when the next VIN comes into into production, but of course, one thing to be one thing to be aware about that is if you if you have financing squared away, if you've already applied, auto loans do only last for thirty days, so you might have to reapply again, or at least even hit the credit again to get an up to date approval. So just be just be aware of that at the end of the day. All right, what else we got? In this next topic, Tesla has updated their new a new feature within their software to track tire mileage definitely a cool feature that i'm pretty excited about so we'll talk about it but if you're just joining in my name is dennis i love talking about tesla hacking as i like to call it but basically just getting the best behind tesla at the best fine team so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested and so let us take a look at this so shout out to not a tesla app for posting this there's a new update 2023.2 and here are some of the features that it actually came out with so the first one is ability to track tire mileage this is pretty huge because you know we all that is the one thing i do try and give a caveat for people that buy evs or electric vehicles or really especially teslas there's less maintenance versus your gas vehicle but the one thing that will rack up in bills or costs is tires especially because of the instant acceleration the instant torque the addictiveness of it you do kind of get used to how punchy the vehicle is and how you can just step on the accelerator and go wherever you want and so because of that, if you're not careful, if you're not calm, I guess, you will burn tires more often. That's why I do recommend for Tesla Model Ys, try and get a square setup, which is the 19 inch or the 20 inch rims, because then you can rotate those tires every five to 6,000 miles. The 21 inch performance rims are not square setups, so you are not able to rotate them at all. So you will burn through those rear, ti rear tires very, very quickly. But 
this is cool because you'll be able to track the tire mileage within the Tesla app so you can monitor to see how well you're doing with these tires or when you'll be when you might be able to need to be to be able to replace them and so that's the thing because Tesla does track your tire wear and they track whether you can need to be able to replace them on off based upon I think like rotational value or something like that so it's really cool for them to add the mileage on top of that because that's a pretty important thing another one here seems, seems to be a small one that text size adjustment as well to the features and a bunch more but the biggest thing here is definitely a Tesla adding tire mileage tracking to the Tesla software or the update which you goes to show Tesla is constantly updating their vehicles making these vehicles more fresh and intuitive and exciting so it is very cool at the end of the day to see them do this so let me know what your thoughts let me know what you're thinking we're going to jump into the live stream comments but before we do that this video is actually sponsored by my patreon link down below in the description is the patreon link where you support the channel so definitely check it out if you're interested all right and a couple of announcement announcements on the channel if you if you are just about to buy a Tesla or about to buy a Tesla, definitely check out our Tesla accessory discount codes down below in the description uh, so you can save a little bit more money and also support the channel as well. We've got 3D Mats USA, which is a very recommended all-weather floor mat that a lot of people use, including myself, that's very premium feel. And we got Tamai, Jawa, which you've probably seen their phone mounts, Tesloid, and Magback down below in the description. And if you are out there, if you haven't placed your order yet or or if you're about to place an order on an inventory vehicle, maybe one from waitingfortesla.com, definitely we would appreciate if you use our referral code down below in the description because if you use our code and purchase a Tesla vehicle, you can earn anywhere from 1,500 to 2,500 to even 9,000 credits for solar, which you can then use to purchase Tesla swag, but more importantly, Tesla supercharging miles, which if you order a Model Y at 1,500 credits, that equals 500 super supercharger miles which which definitely has value not unspeakable value but definitely has some value so we appreciate anybody that has used our codes and our referral codes so thank you thank you to everybody that has used it in the past and also the future people in the past as well daniel Hey, welcome in. Any updates on Austin Vins that may have hardware 4.0? Yes, we released a video yesterday and earlier today. So definitely check out that one. But I think the thread was 098 is XXX. Like there's some people reporting it as early as 098 XXX, but most like it's like 124 XXX or if I remember correctly. But definitely check out the video on the channel uh, where we go through it. Sims, I ordered a long range Model 3 and I just was assigned a VIN. Would you take delivery or wait for Project Highland? That's a tough one, that's for sure, because we have no idea when this Highland is actually coming out. And if I were to guess, if I were to guess, they're most likely going to focus on the Cybertruck first uh, because that's probably a bigger launch and then maybe the Model 3 after that. And so maybe it could be as late as quarter four or maybe even January. But at the end, I could be completely wrong. I mean, we for a while saw, thought uh, maybe there was a chance that this Model 3 Highland that they were Model 3, sorry, long range that they reintroduced on the website was potentially the Highland, but it seems like some people are actually getting delivery of this Model 3 long range and it is not changed at all and it's from its previous generation spec. But would I wait? Depends. If you need a car right now, if you need one in the next month or so, then I would probably say just get the Model 3 uh, that you currently have. If you can wait, if you do not need a car, if your deal, your transaction does not you know, not be bitten, doesn't have any basis on financing or trade appraisals or selling your current car, then uh, I would maybe say wait, wait it out to Highland, but it could be a while for it. But at the end of the day, Model 3, I've been saying for a while that Model 3 deals will get very interesting in the next month because next month is the end of the second quarter. So if you can wait, just wait until June to see if there's any sort of discounts from there. Bay, I received my Austin VIN yesterday. I asked my SAF to see if it's Hardware 3 or Hardware 4. He said Hardware 3. I will be rejecting it. Bay, interesting. So yeah, definitely try some of our strategies. Shout out to Marks yesterday for reporting back in. But basically, you should be able to put, or at least he was able to put his order on hold, release the VIN. It's a two-way cold and you basically wait for a new production Model Y VIN to come back into you. But I imagine a lot of people are going to be doing number one. And so maybe try some other strategies. Some other strategies might be saying you're out of town. 
to see if you can push off your order at the end of the day. But you also have to think, like, is hardware four that important versus hardware three? Are you gonna get full self-driving or are you gonna get for the subscription? Because if you push off onto this hold, it could be anywhere from a two week to maybe even an eight week hold. And so a lot of auto loan applications only last 30 days. So you wanna be aware about aware about that. Uh, you might have to reapply if your Model Y comes 30 to 60 days out from now. What if you already put your full down payment on the app? I think they keep it, their money is in house, so you just keep it and then you just release the VIN to the next one. Daniel, do you mind sharing your VIN, Bay Ray? Do you do order a Model Y? I was assuming it, only Model Ys right now have the hardware for, but yeah, definitely, um, uh, Bay, if you could if you could share, like, since you're gonna release it, I guess it doesn't matter. You could release the last six and figure out from there whether it is going to be the new hardware for, there you go, 103, PA103. So that's interesting because we definitely saw some VINs, I wanna say from Austin, that was like 098 at least someone came in the chat yesterday and said their vin was 098 and it also came with the hardware for it but maybe you know who knows at this point according to some of these threads we can see right here so this is a fremont vin uh let's see i think yesterday we found the austin one but i don't know where it was you have to definitely check out the video to see if you can track it down we posted yesterday, but uh, definitely some pretty interesting stuff. But let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. Shout out to everybody that's coming in. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for thank you for all the like buttons, the comments, and everything like that. And uh, tomorrow we'll be releasing our Model X delivery video, so definitely be hit the subscribe if you want to watch out for that. And uh, we're probably also going to be doing a giveaway 100% for sure this Friday. Shout out to OC Tint Solutions. So if you're in the Anaheim area uh, and you want to win potentially three ceramic tint then definitely hit that subscribe because this friday we'll be rolling out this giveaway so you can figure out how to enter and the last giveaway on the channel is still running we will be announcing the winner tomorrow actually because it's the last day of the month if you want to join and if you want to win if you want to win this electron ev charger for your tesla i pay for all shipping costs and everything definitely check out this video down below it's on the community page you gotta you gotta go to my channel then scroll over to community and it's about uh i want to say five posts down or six posts down at this point we posted 11 days ago you gotta check into whoops you gotta check into this video right here on the community page you can see right here community go on to this post right here check out this video and that's where you can go in and enter in to try and win a electron ev charger for your tesla so definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what your thoughts on, thoughts on it and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya